What's up guys today we have a informed Sanchez review and this guy has 84 pace 81 shot 81 passing 90 dribbling So I mean that's crazy stats. I mean that's really good picked up for 127k And I mean I picked him up in right forward as well So I didn't I, I didn't have to switch my anything four star skills three star weak foot He's right foot on the right side, which annoys the shit out of me I played four games with him because I did play with a subscriber and um, it doesn't show that so I did play four games with him so I do have a a good understanding of what type of player he is and he he's okay and let's get to the team around him and he's a very generic Liga BBVA team that I have I mean I'm not gonna lie guys I mean it's just it's very boring in my opinion but it's just I had to make it you know just so I can play with Sanchez and it's it's a good team I guess you could say and all the assisting come from the midfield and let's get into some of the Sanchez review and this guy I'll talk more about him when we get into the gameplay which we are gonna get into soon Let's get into some of the in-game stats for Inform Sanchez and Sanchez has some decent in-game stats. I mean All very good stats. I mean the only stats that are yellow are kind of just uh, the kind of his long passing and his heading accuracy and stuff Which doesn't matter because he's gonna react for it. as you can see he has 94 99 agility guys, and that's ridiculous I mean his dribbling's probably one of the best guys. It's so good and that 99 agility helps so much because when you're doing skill moves and uh, when you're just moving about, he's just he's good. as soon as you get skill move, he's gonna be right there right right away. And he pushes the ball so far ahead of him, but he's always there to get it back. And then he gets that penalty right there. I switch to him, and I just put this right into the back of the net because like I always do. And Sanchez is just so good, guys. I mean, uh, he was so good for me until until like my first game where I was because when listen to this like when I'm playing with this guy when I'm trying to make the video. Uh, I usually try to focus all my play towards Sanchez and one thing I do not like and I hate about him and it ruins him for me 100% is that he has high high work rates and that kills him for me guys that that just ends it all and because he's high high sometimes he switches with the center mid sometimes he switches with the right back are you kidding me you're not switching with the right back if I'm paying 120 grand for you you stay in your position but he doesn't and he's he's always just pushing up and people I don't like switching it in game every single time I play with him. It's just so annoying. Uh, I rather just have it natural, and he, he he's just his finishing is good. I mean, everything other than his work rates is bad. I mean, also his right 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 footed on the right side is also bad as well. But I mean, he has great dribbling. Uh, his shooting's unbelievable. He has he gets so much power under it, and uh, like you could take long shots, but sometimes his long shots aren't crazy good. They're usually off target. All my goals that I scored are either penalties or inside the box. And he's he's a good player for a right mid. I I'd say guys, if you put him in a three five two right mid, I think that's a, that's a position where he would exceed. If you just put a big guy up at the top, he can cross it in and he can just score all the time. And um, he he'd be a perfect right mid. I mean, for me, he's around an an seven point five, seven point six, seven point eight, something around that, guys. He wasn't crazy good, but he did have crazy dribbling, guys. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace.